Take me out to the ball game. Take me out to the crowd. Buy me some peanuts and... No, I'm just playing. <laughs> uh, no, that was one of my favorite songs growing up, though. But just got through watching The Pitch. Brand new show. Just came out uh, Thursday on Fox. Uh, just got through watching it. Just want to let you guys know what I thought. So, here we go. Rundown. So if you don't know what Pitch is about, Pitch is about an African-American woman that is a pitcher, hence Pitch, in the National Baseball League. So, of course, it's a big thing. This has never happened before. And they're trying to tell you, they're trying to pick what type of scenarios would go, would surround that. You know, so they got fighting in the locker room. They got press. They got, you know, the haters. They got the naysayers. They got all this stuff that probably would happen, for sure. Um, but you know what? Honestly, I think that if you could pitch, if you could hit, or even in, ba even in basketball, if you can shoot a ball at a high level, you should probably be able to play on that team if you can make it. Um, honestly, I think that, and maybe it's just me, but baseball is kind of boring. I, I like going to the games, but I don't like watching it. But I feel like baseball kind of needs that type of um, exposure. They need that something, something new to bring to the table. And I think a woman as a pitcher would be something that gives them a lot of, you know, uh, I, I guess, get more people interested. Okay, something different. Let's see how, how it goes. Now, could it be bad press? Could it be good press? Who knows? But it's something that I feel that the uh, American Baseball League needs. You know, so that's just me. I don't know about anyone else, but that's just me. So... Just watch the first episode. It's only one episode, so I wanted to see what it was about because it did. It definitely appealed to me as an African American, and I wanted to see what it could bring to the table. There was a few things that I, I did like, some things that I didn't. So let's run down that. So when she first get into the league, they. So I don't know if you guys know, but as sports, anyone that plays sports knows that there's ass slapping. You slap the ass. Good job. Good job, man. You know that's that's what you do. So automatically she has an issue with that. Like, oh my gosh, you got all the way up to the major leagues and it's still an issue. Everything is not sexual. It's not. It could be in certain, you know, uh, contexts, but everything's not sexual. Good job. You know, so that kind of bothered me a little bit that you got all the way up to the major leagues and you, had, you still have an issue with this. And I feel like you would be kind of already one of the boys you know, one of the crew already. You know, it's no disrespect. It's nothing sexual. It's good jobs. How they give good job? High fives and ass slaps. I didn't really like the ass slaps either, though. I'm just be honest. <laughs> I didn't slap nobody ass. <laughs> as a, I play sports as a football player. That's not what I did. But I didn't get offended if someone did it. It wasn't a big deal. I'm really not a fan of how she just quit. You know, I feel like any sports player especially at a high level, doesn't have a quitter's mentality. That's just not in them. You know, it, it you can see it just, just in football. All these, you know, old quarterbacks that need to retire, they don't want to, they just don't want to. You know, it's not in them to quit. So to, to, to make it to that high level and just be like, you know, let me out the game, I feel like that just doesn't match the character, but maybe, you know, Maybe non-sports fans would think that's good drama. To me, it's not authentic. But, you know, who's to say? I like the flashbacks. I like how they let us see how she progressed. How she even got into it with her dad making her or seeing something in her. And, you know, kind of pushing her towards one to be, you know, a more, um, a higher level player. You know, so he saw, he saw more in her. And that's how she got there. So I did like that. So she has this complaint to about her you know, to her dad about how you I don't have any friends, you force this upon me, I don't have any interest. I'm like, oh my gosh. So first of all, you used to be appreciative of what your dad did because you wouldn't be here regardless. Don't be a little brat. He's the reason why you got here. Was it rough? Was it tough? Was it hard? Was it irritating sometimes? Sure. But he's the reason why you got there. So don't be ungrateful. 
You know what? Honestly, I have a little uh, a scenario like that. When I was in second grade, I didn't know my multiplication. I was failing multiplication. My grandmother said, you ain't going to fail multiplication. She set me down every single day. We went over multiplication. If I was on a video game and she was like, what's 8 times 9? If I didn't say 72, I had to get off the video game and I had to write it out. I had to write out 8, 9 times until I memorized every single multiplication. That is what happened. And did I did I get upset? Was I a little angry at the time? Sure. But now that I can actually apply it to things, I appreciate it. So I'm not I mean, that's just me. Maybe other people are just less appreciative. I appreciate the effort that someone puts in to make me better. Even if, you know, at the time I was a little angry at them, was I might have, you know, not liked my grandmother at that time. But I love and appreciate my grandmother just for doing that. Because now I know my multiplication. Now, I did like the little twist at the end. The twist at the end was kind of cool. I thought, I'm not going to tell you what it was about, but it's with her dad. And I thought the twist at the end with her dad was really, really good. I didn't necessarily like the, how they executed it. But I felt that it was a really good twist. It gave me some intellectual value. As you guys know, intellectual value is very important to me. Because I'm not, if I'm not thinking, then it means nothing to me. So, I liked how they had that twist. I was like, oh, snap, all right, it's all that time. I ain't going to tell you what it was. Watch the show. I would say watch it. Um, another thing I didn't like was the uh, male bashing. I get that, you know, women feel like they've been left out. They've got the short straw, you know, in, in all of history, and I get it. But I feel like if you want to be that if you want to make the world change, you should be that light that you want to see in the world. So, if you don't like when, I guess, males bash women, then don't bash men. Don't do the same thing. That makes no sense. That, is, that, that just perpetuates the same type of energy. If you want to change the energy, you got to be the example. But, that's something that I didn't like in the beginning. It was a lot of, like, male bashing and... I didn't, I didn't like that because I don't bash women. I think that women should definitely play at any high level that they want. Tennis players should play any tennis player that they want. It shouldn't be males and 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 and, and, uh, and female. It should just be a co-ed league. And that, if you can do it, then just do it. Let them, let them do it. I think they should really do it in basketball. So I'm I'm a supporter. I think women are awesome. But I don't like the bashing. You know, so you know, on either side. So uh, that's my only thing. Other than that. I did like it. I liked how um, it's an it's a, it's a original story. We're not getting these remakes of stories. Original story is something that I've never seen before. I like the acting. I, I, there's some known actors on there for me. Um, they're not like A-list, but I know about them, and it kind of makes it a little more exciting for me. Um, I like how you know they have a lot of references to Jackie Robinson. Um, I like how they have actual fights in the in the, in the locker room because that's what's going to happen. You would have fights in the locker room over this girl, period. I, I, maybe that's wrong, but they feel like if you want to step up to my level, then you're going you're gonna to get the, the worst of it. You know, so I feel like that's authentic. I kind of like the pressure that she was getting. She had a lot of pressure on her, and she was messing up. And I felt like a little bit of that would be, you know, authentic. But I don't like the quitting part. You would, they would, they would never quit. Anyone that gets to that level, male or female, would never just quit. They would never say, "Take me out the game." It's not gonna happen. They're gonna play until the wheels fall off. You don't get to that level without having some type of confidence, even a little bit of, uh, even being conceited a little bit. You know, you have that, like, "Yeah, I could do this. Can't nobody stop me." But maybe that was just for TV. So I digress, but I did like the show. I will watch the second episode. I don't know what if how far it would go, but as far as the introduction, as far as the original story, I did like it. So I will check it out. It's on Fox. Uh, I don't know what nights it comes on Thursdays, I think. Uh, but pitch, look it up. Watch it first. If you got Hulu, watch it on Hulu. I watch it on Hulu. So watch it on Hulu. All right, I'm DeAnthony. I'm out. Check out our other uh, videos that we do. Break Room Blitz. We do, we do the skits for you guys. Let us know if you, if you think those are funny. Uh, just check them out. We put a lot of effort, and we appreciate any feedback. So, you know, check those videos out. All right, so like, subscribe, share with your friends. All right, I'm out. DeAnthony, peace.